Oh, hey folks. How do you like my erotic pose on the bed? Well, today me and MJ, we went down to New Jersey. It was about a four hour drive from Maryland. And we went down to the Chiller Horror Convention. And this was the second, this was MJ's first year. And this was my second year. I went last year for the October show as well. And this show, I thought I personally liked better. So I thought it was far more organized, most for the most part. And there was more guests that I really liked this year. Of course, last year it was my my all-time favorite person that I met of all time, Pee Wee. You know, Paul Rubens. But um, this year had even more people that I really liked to see, and far more like a bunch of quirkier people that you don't that you don't see at conventions that much and I was really glad to see them um, before I talk about who I saw and everything I got I'm, I, I was gonna mention the one I bought a whole bunch of weird horror movie bootlegs but I found finally a bootleg of the entire series of salute your shorts and they weren't like taped off a um, you know, noggin or anything recent. They were actually like taped off a of Nickelodeon when they were new. So you could tell they were taped on the. They had that 80s tape look. Like I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. A lot of things that were taped in the 80s were a little bit softer looking in that picture, but it was far more. The tapes held up and they were real heavy, and they had like a better quality look. You you know what I mean? If you actually have tapes that are old, and I felt I feel like they hold up better. Because, you know, a lot of the tape player, like recorders in the early 90s and stuff went downhill in quality. And, you know, I don't need to get into all that shit. But who did I see this year? Well, the person who was really excited to meet this year, and we got to go in without waiting in the long line because we didn't feel like seeing Val Kilmer. You know, I don't have nothing against Val Kilmer. But, like, he isn't really in that much that I care about. I mean, he was in um, Island of Dr. Moreau. And I know he's been in a lot of, you know big movies and stuff, but, like, he doesn't really, you know, interest me to see. I mean, he's fine and all. I'm just really not worried about seeing him. But I saw Henry Winkler, who most of you will know for, were for, from the Fonz in Happy Days. And, you know, it was really cool to meet him, and he was really nice. And I found out he's doing the new Adam Sandler movie. I, I really do like those movies that he does with them. And I always like to talk to celebrities, too, when I meet them not about the things that they're always discussing. So I usually bring up weird or different stuff that they probably don't talk about much. At least haven't talked about in the last 15 years or so. I brought up um, Henry Winkler. Some of you might remember this movie. Probably won't because it doesn't get aired much. and It isn't really talked about much and it isn't like a, a big hit. Was I talked about the movie that he directed, like one of the only pretty much I think the only movie he directed I think he did some TV but um talked about Cop and a Half and you, you'll probably remember that movie about that kid who's on the Cop Force and Burt, Burt Reynolds we've talked about it on Don Murph a couple of times but um I always liked the movie and it was a kid I watched it like all the time I was always renting it and watching it all the time and like obsessing about it told him how much I loved that movie and how much I loved him in Night Shift um you've, some of you might have seen it with Michael Keaton it was an 80 movie and him and like they were running a prostitution ring out of the um, embalming room like they worked in the um, funeral home and bombing room and they had like a prostitution company in there it, it, it's it's better than it's it's hard to explain it was very funny though and I said I suggest you check it out if you get a chance and then we got to meet Lorraine Newman who we talked to her about Problem Child 2. She was surprised that we anyone remembered. She says no one hardly ever brings that up. She said, yeah, actually, she said no one ever brings it up. But, I mean, I always loved that movie. And um, she played Lawanda. LaFonda? Lawanda? Lawanda. I, I always screw it up and get mixed up in the Pauline Dynamite character. But um, she was really cool and nice to talk to her. And I told her about how I liked her appearance on Curb Your Enthusiasm. And 